We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Today I am doing a day in the life and specifically a day in the life of owning a molting rabbit. <laughs> I mentioned in my last vlog that Cinnabon is molting right now and it is still going strong, but luckily I feel like we're over the hump, but I thought it might be useful for you kind of to see what I do just in a day while she's molting to keep my house clean, to keep her healthy, keep this molt moving and get it out of the way because molting is the worst. If you are new to our channel, hi, I'm Morgan. We talk about all things bunny here on this channel. And if you didn't know, rabbits molt, which means that they lose all of their fur and grow a new coat. Now they don't go bald, it all like happens together, but it happens usually about twice a year and right now Cinnabon is right in that mode. So today I'm gonna to be sharing my tips and tricks about that and also just giving you a look into a regular day for us. It's a Thursday, it's a work day, nothing special, so let's get started. There's the molting queen herself, hi baby. Hi. One of the most important things to keep in mind while your rabbit is molting is to keep them eating hay. So along with the hay in her hay bag inside of her litter box, I also have one of these hay stacks from Oxbow. It has chamomile in it. And I just put this out so it's just an extra source of hay for her. While rabbits are molting, they digest so much hay. So it's really important to keep their guts moving. And the best way to do that is with a lot of fiber, AKA hay. So the more hay, the less likely they are to have any gut slowdowns. Hey, you playing with my pants? You can even see here the like line on her booty from her shed. Hey baby. We're gonna have to groom you later. I know. As far as keeping my house clean, y'all know the drill. I have my air purifiers going. I have one over here in the corner that is running at all times in the bunny room. And then I have another right here in my living room. This is the bigger one and I have that going all the time as well. So that helps catch the hay out of the air. But along with that, I do a ton of vacuuming during molting season. So I am gonna go ahead and start this guy. So whether it's molting season or not, I give Cinnabon a digestive biscuit from Oxbow every single morning. It's like one of her treats, but especially during molting season, I make sure not to forget. So this is an important one for you, baby. Oh, are you trying to take it out of my hand? Oh, I know you want to run away with it. that I need to sit by the fire because Cinnabon's room is too cold for me right now. Muffin, are you gonna help me? Or do you just want the banana on my toast? Yeah, so this is my setup <laughs> because I was just getting too cold. So Cinnabon and I are going to sit by the fire for a little bit, right girly? just checking in. I think it's about 3 p.m. right now and I actually just am exporting a video right now and while it exports and some things render I figured I would take like a 30 minute just break away from a screen you know. I don't think I talk about this too much but I'm actually quite the bookworm. <laughs> I was in a little bit of a reading slump over the holidays but I am back at it and I just read the most lovely book this week. It was called Swear on This Life and it was so good and right now I'm reading the book Bright Side 
and it's just so lovely. Love a good romance novel. I try to take breaks throughout the day because if I just stare at the screen, I my eyes explode and my head hurts and then I just feel like I can't do anything. But I do need to groom Cinnabon today, so I'll do that later. And a few more things that I want to show y'all, some tips and tricks that I have to like help me survive this molt, but I just thought that it would be nice to check in. It's a lovely afternoon so far. I feel like it's pretty stress-free and there's honestly nothing better than making some tea, curling up in my reading chair and reading a chapter of two in the middle of the day. If you are a reader, comment down below what you're reading right now. I love to know what is popular and what people like and I'm always open to suggestions, so let me know. got a very exciting package from the well-kept rabbit which I think is going to be so useful for today's video so this is the support kit and this is specifically like for molting it's the molting season natural aids kit we love the well-kept rabbit they're a natural like treats store and so I got her some goodies that are specifically for molting season First, there is this forage. I am going to add this to her hay right away. Like I said this morning, hay is like the most important thing that they can eat during molting season. So this specific blend just has a lot of fiber in it and is really good for like gut mobility. So perfect to put in there her hay so that she will eat more hay and there's extra benefits to it. So I've actually never fed black oil sunflower seeds before. I usually stay away from seeds, but these seeds are pretty big. So they're not really a choking hazard. They're more something like a treat that she could eat. And these are apparently really good for their coat. So right now, I don't know if she needs these specifically because it's more for like weight gain and boost and stuff, just making her coat look shiny. I'm looking more for gut stuff, but this will be good if her coat starts looking a little, a little funky. Another natural treat in this pack are these papaya bites. So papaya is just like a natural fibrous, like gut stimulant that you can feed your rabbit. It's a treat, but I always try to give her treats that at least have some benefit to them. So this is awesome for that. And then last up are actually one of my favorite things ever, which are these gut poppers. They are treats, but they are specifically made like to enhance their coat, to help with that digestion. So again, it's one of these treats that it's a treat, but it's good for her. So we are gonna put these things into use right now. Okay, so I'm currently in the Cinnabon shed and something I've actually been doing during her molting season has been filling her hay bag twice a day instead of just once a day. I sound, I'm sure I sound like a broken record, but just times like this, Hey, 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 the more hay, the better. So I figured since it's um, about five o'clock, I could add more hay into her hay bag, but also add in this forage, so that'll be fun. All right, so her hay bag is nice and full. So typically I give her a blend of Timothy and orchard grass hay, but since Timothy is like so fibrous and like the top hay for bunnies most of the time, during her molt, I give her more Timothy than usual. Even though I am allergic to Timothy hay, I suck it up so that she can get as much fiber as possible. I'm gonna add this back in, give her some hay, and then I think it's time to groom her. So when Cinnabon is molting, I try to brush her almost every day, if not every day. Rabbits groom themselves, but during molting season, they're just digesting so much more fur than usual. Pretty much anytime your rabbit is molting, you're gonna see poop in their litter box that's strung together by fur. It's not great, but it's kind of inevitable. But if you're good about grooming your rabbit frequently during the molt, you can really minimize that poop and just minimize any buildup in their tummies. Buildup and blockages are what can lead to GI stasis, so it's really important that you are avoiding as much buildup as possible. Between frequent grooming sessions and a lot of hay munching, your rabbit should make it through molting season just fine. Cinnamon nut muffin. Do you know what time it is? Come on, it's dinner time. Dinner time, dinner time. It is bunny dinner time. Cinnabon, are you trying to tell me something? Is it time for your stick? It's time for stick, come on. Most important part of the day. No, 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 no. 
Good night, baby. I love you. Say bye, buns. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on Sunday. Goodbye.